You'll never look at broccoli the same way again. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. Thank you, Mythical Beast, for making us a part of your daily routine. Thank you, from the, from the bottom of our beans. Right in here, in the guttural place. Okay, there's a New York Times article recently about an ad agency. You know, we're, we're, you know, we're on the fringes of the ad world sometimes. Fringes. We do some product integrations, we do commercials of all types. Yep. Uh, all types of things, so you know, we like to be in the know. An ad agency, uh, Victors and Spoils. Uh, they've got a great name. Oh, wow. We should. Wow. That's what we should call ourselves. That's made up, isn't it? I think, well, it's, it's, it's not two last names, it's just the name of an ad agency. Victors and Spoils, they took it upon themselves to create an ad campaign pro bono, meaning nobody was paying them to do this. Meaning that they got Bono involved on a professional capacity. No, if they did a pro bono campaign, it could it could be if he's trying to get elected for something, or it could be they're not getting paid to promote an interesting vegetable. Well, the vegetable's not interesting. I did call Bono Bono for a long time. Just, I went through that phase, sorry. Because I just, I read it and I didn't hear it. You know, growing up on Bowie's Creek, it's like, yeah, Bono's the guy who <laughs> sings lead for, move on please, what sorry. I'm, yeah, what I'm trying to say is Victor and Spoils took it upon themselves to create an ad campaign for broccoli. Oh. Um, and the way that they did this, they ultimately concluded that they wanted to uh, take down kale. Yeah. So it was kind of sucks. It was kind of an anti-kale campaign, but they were a little bit more creative than just slogans like, kale, kale sucks. sucks. They put more thought into it than that. Uh, one is broccoli, now 43% more pretentious than kale. Oh. See, you think about mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Since when do superfoods have to be super trendy? Oh, mm, yeah. You know, kind of a snarky kind of a thing. It's Smart. Ba it's basically their take on the, basically you got the Got Milk campaign. I remember that. In, in, in magazines, that one's, that one's ubiquitous. The pork campaign. The other white meat. Yeah. That's the only reason I eat nothing but pork now. And what's the, what's the other one? There's a uh, cotton. Or oranges. No, cotton. <laughs> the touch, the feel of cotton, yeah, yeah. the fabric of our lives. So why not broccoli? So that's what we did, but it kind of got me thinking, we, we can try it too, right? I mean, if they can do it pro bono, uh, we can also not be paid to come up with a broccoli campaign. But bono will not be here. So yeah, don't. don't get your hopes up. Okay, so this is what we've decided to do. We've decided to, uh, as a net result, change how you view broccoli and to start eating it by developing our own ad campaigns and we're gonna create them here live in this episode of Good Mythical Morning. Live commercials, right? We're you said ad campaigns, but this is, we're, we're just gonna make a bunch of commercials right yeah, now. Like television commercials. We've got Ben over here. He has set up this amazing commercial food <laughs> shot. Of, of of broccoli. Look at him. He's so he's so Are you professional. Alive? Like wake up. <laughs> and okay. uh, we're gonna cut to Ben's camera, play a little music, Look and we're guy. gonna do some. See that broccoli down there? We're gonna read some live VO that we have written. Uh, that are gonna it's gonna make you want to eat broccoli so bad. It's ben right there, just bit my finger. Okay, uh, now back to me. All right, are we good, Jason? We still everything's still okay. I know once we start panning on Good Mythical Morning. The wheels can fall off. Who knows what could happen? We rarely do that. Okay, so here, are you going first? Yeah. You've I'm, got the first one? I'm ready. Got okay. it right here. Here goes. Our first broccoli ad. Studies show that people who eat broccoli will live longer. So, if you want to be an old crotchety person for a longer period of time, eat broccoli. And then we're adding text on their broccoli be old longer. I think that just happened. Yeah, so that's what I always that's thought. Be old when longer. When people are like, you know, you should do this because you'll live longer. I always thought, yeah, but you'll just be an old person longer. <laughs> yeah, and that's just, the part of life it that tax you, it on to the end. Right. The end part is the bad part. So be, it should end more quickly. Well, right. Well, no, it, it could make you younger longer, but that's not. That's just not the tact that we're taking in our campaign. Be old longer. Hmm. That's good. No one else is going to think of that one. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think about that, victors and spoils? Oosh. All right, my turn. Smother it in cheese, submerge it in a soup, bake it in a cake, I don't care. Just shut your pie hole and eat it. Broccoli, quit your whining and eat it. That's it, that's mine. 
Yeah, I channeled the exasperated father. Is that how you talk to your children? Yeah, I'm like, eat your broccoli. If you want your candy, you got to eat your broccoli. Did you use that accent? It's like the Pink Floyd song. You can't have your pudding oh. if you don't eat your... Whatever it is. Your meat? You can't have your pudding if you don't eat your meat. That's good. The wall. Okay, I got one. It's dinner time. You need a side item with a vintage vibe and street smart, you dig? It's time to get your broccoli on. That's right, the only vegetable with an afro. Broccoli. It has an afro. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah, that's, ooh, that's good. Ben, that makes you want to eat broccoli? Yeah. It does. Because <laughs> every time you see an afro, you now get... it's all you Yeah, right. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. Yes. Okay, mm. so maybe we should just stop with that one. No, keep it's going. We got more. The music does so much. Yeah. I'm not even hearing the music yet. I'm just imagining yeah, right. how much it did mm. for that ad. It did a lot. Just imagine seeing these on TV, man. Well, th th that's the idea, right? That's why we're doing it. Oh, yeah. Pro bono. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Broccoli. Eat it raw because it smells like a fart when you cook it. <laughs> that one kind of- It does, you know? Took, that one caught you by surprise. But a lot of times I get home and I'm like, Jesse? <laughs> Did uh, one, hey. is that you or one of the kids? And she's like, it's broccoli. <laughs> it's broccoli, you know? Oh, that's another one. Yeah, yeah. Is that you or one of the kids? It's, it's broccoli. broccoli. And you, you, you point at it like that. Hit me with another one. Okay. This is fun. Your mother makes you eat it, but mothers don't live forever. Once she's gone, you'll regret not listening to her. If you don't want to feel guilty when your mother dies, eat broccoli. Your dead mom would have wanted you to. So that one's kind of takes you sort of a, on in a, a sad, down note. In a yeah. sad place. Yeah, it puts you in a sad place, but a lot of people are motivated by guilt. Everybody's got a mom, or had one. Ooh. All right, last one. You've probably noticed that broccoli resembles a miniature tree, but have you ever considered what that makes you? <laughs> Feel like a giant. Eat broccoli. I got this. Deforestation. I work for a timber company. Ah! Oh, this is my tree. My tree. This is my tree. Ah! Okay, if you want it to be your tree, <laughs> I'll find another tree. Ah! Deforestation. <laughs> ah! Really, if you want it, I don't want to eat after you. <laughs> Just take it. Okay. <laughs> I can't eat all that broccoli. <laughs> That's really not the best way to eat broccoli, just straight raw like that. Mm. I don't know, it's good. I can just feel my, myself staying older longer. Oh, me. Woo! Well, so, you're welcome for changing your perspective on broccoli. And broccoli.com or whatever broccoli manufacturer uh, is most popular, we're waiting. We're waiting for your phone call. We came up. We came up with those. Business at .com. We came up with those in just a couple of minutes, and so it's probably you know another handful or so that we can come up with. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Anna from Cambridge, England. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Are you listening to Ear Biscuits yet? Yep, I we listen to it every uh, Friday afternoon it or Saturday or Sunday. It's a podcast that we make. It comes out every Friday. Listen to it. It's like an hour long. Do so, you can mow the lawn while you do it. We don't care what you do. <clears throat> Got broccoli back there. Link forgets Rhett's name. That was quite, that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? Eating that and like giants for broccoli's sake, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Jackie? Tim? Help me out here. No, don't. How's this Starts happening? with an R. How's this happening? Randall, nope. Reggie, no. Reg. Tomorrow. 
<laughs> Rectum? <laughs> That's, that's all I've. That's all I'm getting. <laughs> what really? What is it? Rectum. <laughs> Back in the day when Thomas Jefferson was running things, it was his job to bring in vegetables into the new world. I've got broccoli. Still called it the new world. <laughs>